It's another beautiful episode of Revelations. My name is Mami Gray. This is my popular demand. Moana modene etu show ne so mu texti mu DM mu WhatsApp mu penu mu body ni me social ni baby ya mi uno afena pressure na no aye den. And then they say, Best you shall know, yes, you shall know, and I yet didn't know about a young crophobia. Some say, Obey a day now, but soon or so. Yenji Obia Sika, a year platform way, a year followers, no, a dear. So they determine what should happen here. Or more can't crop or more pair more platforms, no, so they are checking your more background, no. It is some way authentic, and they are the Omaba because platform way, dear. We are real here. We discuss hot issues, everything spirituality. Aha, and Ayeka. And once again, I welcome you to Revelations, the biggest spiritual platform, especially for Africans. Yes. My name is Mami Grace. You can follow all our social media platforms. Mami Grace, and your Insta, um, Facebook. Mami Grace, YouTube, and Najerum 2020, and Instagram. Obe to me, I follow you. Your numbers are not on the screen. So, who are you suffering? So, who are you suffering? Who are you spiritual person? Who are you endowed? Now, who are you suffering? Now, who are you suffering? I'm looking for someone who can tell us about all the regions we have in in Ghana and their spirituality. So be wah wah, we ni mo ana wah recommending amame. Be she she obi nso obi ba be ka Ghana where we were. Ena edin ya na ye wo ansa na ye be fray Gold Coast ansa na ye be fray Ghana. So we obi ana wah recommending no edi amame. Be po obi a obi ba be try and spirituality behind colors. And she said, Who will be our own? So, no, I recommend you know, I'm a way to me. I was happy, me. I was 0244860092. Thank you so much for being part of this big platform. God bless us all. Once again, welcome to another episode of Revelations. And let me guess, you know, and I'm a kind of yeah, by popular demands. Almost a text close to 900. And Sana, me to me, a cofano, a dene baye, ain't you know, Nidini, dear, mean to me, born to me, more no, and Casa Abu. Into, uh, Papa, welcome Thank to you. Revelations. Please, what's your name? My name is Tutu Sao. Tutu Sao, what's the meaning of that name? Well, uh, Tutu, Tutu is a dimension of the spiritual and the physical existence. Okay. Yeah, so the two dimensions. Okay, and the yeah. Sao? Sao is the eternal one. The eternal one. Yeah. Okay, so I feel when who a dinu a muhu dinu with social media na muhu ma different meanings. I dream boninti. What you read in us? Eh, nyia di awo dream ye no nyia sa akra ye different. Nyia Elijah kru mukasa. And now I be chilas ye sa di awo pe. Ha, Papa, welcome to Revelations. And that your topic no eh ye the African spiritual knowledge system. The African spiritual knowledge system. And no, and we are discussing the African knowledge system with uh, Mr. Sao. But I not mean to me, but niye. And once again, welcome Thank you to very much. Revelation. What is what is African spiritual knowledge system? All right. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to mm -hmm. express myself. Thank you. When we say African spiritual knowledge system, we quickly have to go back to our ancient roots where we, or what we were before today, found ourselves in Ghana, in West Africa, to be precise. So, when we say African spiritual system, we have what we call a fan. If you come to the Everland, we have what we call a fan. And in this fan system, there are, there are 256 gates that our forefathers said these 256 constructed the whole of existence so when you come into the efan system you realize that in fact efan is everything efan is you efan is me and efan is the whole of existence so african spirituality or african knowledge system you can't mention african spiritual or knowledge system without mentioning efan because everything in the whole of existence came out of a fan. So we also learned that from the very fan that uh, the whole of existence, from the spiritual realm to the physical dimension, all came from a fan. So when we want to understand African knowledge spiritual system, we have to go deep into a fan. That is the only place that we can be able to get what African knowledge system is. For now, we are all on a borrow spiritual system which 
as a result is pulling us back because to know yourself, to know myself, you have to be able to go into your own spiritual system. It is only that that can give you the exact formula that was used to made you. So if we are talking about African spiritual knowledge system, I will take you to Afa because that is the only system that can be able to express or explain better than any other system. Okay. Yeah. Maybe somebody is watching us from somewhere. She will ask in one minute, what is Afa? Okay. Afa is you. Afa is me. The whole of existence is Afa. So when we say Afa, the word Fa means a system that can take you to a level of calmness, a system that can bring you to a, a, a level where you can understand the whole of existence. You see, when your mind is very calm and serene, you should be able to understand your inner self. But once the mind is very wavery, it will not give you the exact understanding of colors or whatever thing is in existence. So our Asian fathers teaches that a fa is a system that can lead you to a state of calmness. So we have a fa and the word a fa we derive it from the word fa. So a fa is the person who has attained that state of calmness. It is only that person that can talk about or say how that state is. So that state that we call a fan is a state of calmness and the one that can attain that state is what we call a fan. So if you try your very best and you have attained that state of a fan, then you are called a fan. Okay, so how different is it from, let's say, maybe Christianity, Buddhism or Islamic? How different is Well, a fan is the foundation of everything, as I said earlier. The whole of existence is a fan, and a fan is the only system that can define and give vivid meaning to everything in life. So, if you want to understand anything, then you mention a fan. But then, if you want to talk about comparing it with spirituality like Christianity, Islam, and other ones, uh, with that, there are levels in a fan that can raise your state of consciousness. But then, if you want to pick religion, a fan, to be specific, doesn't talk about religion. It only talks about the knowledge foundation of mankind. So, in a fan system, we don't, we don't have a religion. But it can take you to a knowledge system that you can understand yourself and probably understand the whole of existence, the whole of the cosmos. So, basically, if we want to compare a fan to Christianity, we might be mistaken. Because a fan, will not, there is nothing like religion in a fan. Yeah. Okay, so there is nothing, there is no difference. So Not there is no difference. I'm like, saying that... Can I say that, is, 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 is it like a kind of uh, enlightenment, like if you are a Christian, you want to know more about Bible, if you are Muslim, you want to know more about the Quran, if you, if you should be practicing a fan like you are saying, what are the things that you are supposed to do? All right. Today, if you want to understand yourself, initially, those days, once a child is born, this child will take this child through a fine initiation ceremony. So once you go through this system, then you know what actually is Mami Grace. If you know, you see this, our body, it has a name in a fan. I said earlier that a fan is everything. The whole of the universe is called a fan. So a fan name everything under the sun, even and beyond the sun. So if you want to understand yourself, you have to go through a fan ceremony. It is only that system that can give you vivid understanding about where you came from, what you are here to do, and where you'll be going. Because, for instance, if you are born on Saturday and you dress up, you go to church, you come back, that doesn't mean anything. Who are you? Can you go within yourself and truly know who you are, where you came from and why you are here, 
we all go to church, we come back, we go to church, we come back, we shout and do everything. But at the end of the day, you don't know who you are. And the system that can give you that vivid understanding about yourself is a fan. So, if we want to compare a fan to Christianity or how we can understand Christianity within a fan, the a fan will direct you, as I was saying, a fan has law and order of everything. Our ancient father said that the whole of existence came out of sound. So, we have secret sound formulas of everything in the whole of existence. That is the reason why if you know like the camera shooting us today, if you have the sound formula that was used to make this camera, you can use this sound to regulate the camera. If aeroplane is flying over, you can use sound of that aeroplane to either allow the aeroplane to come in or to, you understand. So basically, our ancient fathers were having these sound formulas of the whole of creation. And today we still have these things, but because of the foreign religion or the foreign system that were opposed on us, we are kind of lost. And so, therefore, the need for us to go back to our root is very important so that we can all come back to our senses and understand who you are. So if you are born in this life as an African child, what you need to do is first go through the first ceremony. And it is that ceremony that is going to give you vivid understanding. So what you are here not to see, you have to know. What is not good for you to listen to or say, you have to know. Because it is not everything we are here to eat. There are certain things, you don't even need a scientist to tell you that this thing, if I eat this, it disturbs me. It worries my stomach. So a fan will give you vivid understanding about the reason why you are here and your spiritual path. We don't deal with religion, but a fan can guide you to achieve, to grow and develop your subconscious mind to hit nature. So basically, yes, a fan is there to help us to really understand who we are. But if we want to talk about religion, religion is kind of twisting your mind, directing you to a place where it does not exist. So understanding yourself, understanding about nature, understanding what was used to establish the whole of existence is what we call a fan. So in this case, let us all come back to understanding the African Asian knowledge system that we call a fan. And I am repeating it that it is the only system here that can give us the understanding of everything. In fact, there is nothing in this life that doesn't come from a fan. So let us all understand that it is only a fan that can give us or take us. In fact, if Ghana and Africa should understand and grab what a fan is, I think the socioeconomic problem that we are having can be a thing of the past because if you go through a fan and you obey the rules and regulations of your vibration, it means that you are going to achieve what you are here to do and your subconscious mind is going to open. So children that are here to become scientists will quickly see them because even in a fan, you see, even if you want to give birth, you have to plan for. If you want to bring down an engineer, there are procedures that you follow and bring down an engineer. If you want to bring down a doctor, medical doctor, there are procedures that you follow and bring this. You get soul. pregnant with a doctor? No. You said you, when you want to bring out a When you want to give birth to a child who becomes a medical doctor. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there are procedures that not seeing a medical doctor, but in a fan system, there are procedures that you follow. Then you'll be able to give birth to this genius. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And you were going to say that when a child is born, yes. the fat people take the child through process. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What are the you process? See, yeah. If you are born, mm -hmm. you will be taken through a fan ceremony. If you go through this ceremony, 
you are going to know the law and order that came to establish you. How do you put people through those ceremonies? Can you give us a bit? Well, you see, the, the first ceremony, it is actually something that we cannot say on national TV. Okay. Right. But then, the ceremony will take, will take you through this system. Initially, when you are young, as a child, you need to be taken through this system. But today, because of the foreign system, most of us are ignorant of the system. So therefore, we have all ignored the system. Now, if you want to go through the fan ceremony, what is necessary for you to do is, first, they will educate you. Educate you about the process of a fan. You are going there to see your star. You are going there to see the law and order that came to form you. Even your body. It has a name in a fan. If you go, they will teach you. There is another body on this very one. They will give you the name of that body and give you this very body. There are things that you need not to eat. You need not to see. Whatever you see in this life, it affects your body. Whatever you listen to, you, you, you eat or see, it affects your body. So you are going to be on a certain rhythm, a certain direction, which can help you develop if you control your body, then your soul can expand. But if you are not controlling your body, you are giving anything at all to the body, it means that the body will be weak and the soul cannot be able to expand and understand or fulfill the reason why it's here. So, for somebody to go through the Efa ceremony, we will educate you first about life. What you need to do is for about a week or so me if you come to me i'll tell you that you should reduce an intake of meat because you are already meat so if you are taking meat adding on meat is like you are expanding your meat you are expanding your body so for there we only advise the people that if you come look at your body we call it woolly in a fan and this body that we call woolly is the whole of the physical dimension. A fan said that the whole of the physical dimension is woolly. So the first initiate that will go to the fan ceremony, we look into the body state. When you come, we'll do divination for you. Then see the vibration that you are on. As at the time you want to go to the ceremony. So it is that vibration that is going to determine the process that you have to go through. Somebody will come instantly, you divine for the person, the redeem will be good. So quickly you can start educating that person on the process of initiation. How long has Efa been in existence? How long has it been in existence? Well, we cannot categorically state the exact time where Efa has been in existence because Efa is the whole of cosmos. So Efa is the beginning of time. Since the world came into existence, we can say a fan is as old as existence. So you cannot take existence out of a fan because a fan is what actually we are seeing. The whole of this universe is a fan. Okay. Do you know people say that divination is like a witchcraft or a wicked thing? Have you heard about this before? Well, if you don't know, you can mention or call any name for it. But Divination is not a satanic thing or in a fan there is nothing like Satan. We don't we don't have anything called Satan in a fan. So divination is a system that can give you directions. For instance, if you come to divine, what you are going through, a fan is going to tell you. What happened in your past, your present, and your future, a fan will tell you. So once the spiritual code that will come. It's going to break down what you're going through and direct exactly what can be done for you to be free. So I don't see this being evil or devilish or satanic. Hmm. Okay, so how does one become a member or go through, if I want to be... Yes, as I was saying, you go through the initiation. Where would I go? I just walk to where and... Walk. Any Anybody who is... A fan, Tobokon, we call them Tobokon, 
they are the people responsible for initiating people into the fan system. So wherever you can find any of them, they can take you through the system. But if you go, that doesn't mean that instantly they will initiate you. They mm -hmm. will take you through a series of education to see your state of consciousness. Mm. Then they will know exactly what they can do for you. Okay. Yes. Okay, so uh, this uh, is it for only Ghanaians or is for Africans? And what are they? What are they teaching? Well, Afa uh, is the whole of this life. So everybody under the sun is fa. So you are a fan. I'm a fan. Somebody in America is also a fan. Who it's is a qualified? Fan. Everybody is qualified. Everybody. Every human being is a fan. Every human being is a fan. Yes. Whether you are you you, need whether you are, you are you are American or you are British, you are Ghanaian, you are Togolese or you. We are all... What are some of the benefits? Yes. What are some of the benefits? Once you go through the fan ceremony, you are going to be guided by rules and regulations. And these regulations are going to make sure that you propel through life in the right direction. So, for instance, as I was saying, that there are certain things that if you see, it affects you, but you don't know. Certain things if you hear, you listen to, it affects you, but you don't know. So if I is going to decode some of these things to you, so that you'll be able to know exactly what you can do. But for instance, if you touch something, you are going to attract a certain date from that thing, but you don't know. Let's assume that you are in this life, you are not to eat garden egg, and you are eating garden egg. It is going to block your way, and probably give you sickness. So a fan will give you what you are to do and what you are not to do. A fan will direct you to all of this. And we have five level of consciousness or awareness or school, esoteric school in a fan that you will go through and attain your, yourself and attain God. Yes. So if I want to become one of the students, what am I supposed to do? Yes, you, there are Toboko everywhere in the Volta region, Togo, Benin, Nigeria, all over. Wherever you can find one, they can assist you, guide, give you guidelines what you need to do before taking you through the system. It is not something that you come to me and I say, okay, because I need money, let me just take you through a fan ceremony and you become a fan. No. So is it like, is it possible? Me, I'm a Christian. Yes. And nothing will change me from that. Can you are, I be, you are a Christian, can, but you are a fan. Can, can I be a Christian and still be uh, the fan? Yes, what I'm saying is that every human being, everything in this life is a fan. Whether you practice it or not, you, you are a fan. You are. You ah, are. The ah. one that constructed the whole of this universe is a fan. And I'm not everything. practicing it. I don't, I don't even know about it. And and I'm but still you are. part of it. You know, in a fan, we have... 4096 stories that govern the whole of existence and these 4096 stories in a fan we we call it a fan anase kokoroko a fan anase kokoroko but if you come to the accounts they have anase stories which is the same as a fan stories the 4096 stories that we have in a fan the accounts also have it as anase Anansi stories. We say Anansi, this, they can't say Anansi stories. It's the same thing. You cannot run away from yourself. Ah, but we've run away from ourselves already. Oh yes, not really, but because of outside uh, uh, pressure that has fallen on us, we is, have is lost it, ourselves. Is it for people the same as a comfort and a for? Is it the same well, thing? Uh, before somebody will become any of what you just mentioned, you must first go through a fan ceremony. Eh. It is only going through the, that ceremony that you know what you are here in life to do. So you can if go through not, that ceremony? If you are not here to become a comfort, and today you are practicing as a comfort, it's like you have diverted yes. from your path. So if I come to a fan like me, and you, you, you know you, exactly. You take me purpose. through that process and realize, know that I'm, I'm supposed to be a kung fu and I'm now a pastor. I have to divert and go and be doing. You see, you call it, but what you don't know is 
what you are doing now as a pastor, what is it going to lead you to? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Heaven. Where, where is the heaven? Up there. Where? Up. There is nowhere called heaven. Hey. There, there is nothing like that. There is nothing like that. You see, this life, if you come into a farm, a farm will tell you that life or human being, if you die, you go and come back to life. So me, I can tell you, this is the third time I am here in this life. You have to know if this is the second or your first that time. That is reincarnation. Yes. So we, we are not going anywhere. You die and come back. If you believe that if you die, you remain in the grave for somebody to come and wake you up one day, then be there. Some of us will go and come back. What are you saying? Me that is dying, I'm going to heaven, paradise. No, there is nothing like that. We don't have it. So right now, I will die and come back. Have so you I... heard any of our teachings from our African system, from our parents, that there is heaven somewhere? It is the foreign people, they came to inform us that there is a place called heaven. But is it not true? Even if you go to their country, are they Christians? Is America a Christian nation? No. Is Europe a Christian nation? No. The so-called children of God, Israel, are they a Christian nation? No. Why is Africa jumping, jumping all over Christianity or other religions? Why? Are you saying I won't go to heaven? There is nothing like that. I don't, I'm not happy. You have to be happy because your ancient African system is there. Why do you want to leave your own self and jump onto something that you don't understand? We have to go back to our roots. It and if I should become a, a fa, is there any taboos? Is there anything that I am not, I am not, not, not supposed to do? Yes. Even in, in our homes, mm -hmm. there are taboos everywhere. Even in your own self, there are rules and regulations governing you. There are certain things you don't like to eat them. It's taboo. So things that will straighten your life and make sure you prepare and make everything you is want. Is that how you see taboo? Taboo is taboo not a big issue. What is what is taboo? It's just things that if you do it will destroy you. That is what our forefathers restricted us from. Don't do this because it will hurt you, it will destroy you. This are, is there any worship in this your system? As I said earlier, there is no religion in our system. We don't have a religion. It's a knowledge system that you go through and awaken yourself. What does your, your, your belief or this, your effort, say about God and good and evil? Or God and evil? Or devil? Well, I said earlier that there is nothing like devil in our system. You see, Nature as it is has its own destructive forces, like tsunami, earthquake, so many things have been happening. And our forefathers also, they were kind of protecting their land, so they were fighting these forces. Hmm. But today, what Christianity is fighting is our knowledge system, not forces, not destructive forces of nature, but rather they are condemning our own identity. Our own knowledge system is what Christianity is condemning, but not forcing destructive forces of nature. So our ancient father, fathers, they also knew that nature as it is has certain forces. So these were the forces that we, we were fighting all this world. So anybody at all can walk into to any shrine and be initiated into a fire and that's it. You will not go to any shrine and instantly they will take you through initiation. It's not like that. There are educations that they have to take you through and probably know the rhythm that you are on. Then they will advise you. It is not magic that you go and instantly they will take you through a system. And awesome. It, it is not like so that. So those who wanted to see this man on the show, he's here in one minute. What do you what do you say about this show? Well, Revelation is a very good show that I'll urge each and everyone to support, promote, and make sure that this platform remain the best under the African spiritual okay. knowledge system. All right, then I will come to you to so you take me to Afa. You are welcome. Osofu uh, <laughs> Kofiche Ahadi, he is taking me to Nogoko. Oh, okay. I know him very well. Next month, 
I am very, very ready. You so are welcome. I will come to you, so you also take me to Afa. And there is another man who came and said, you people are Israelites, so I will come there to him too. So I mean, we find out whether I'm from Noah or from Abraham. Thank you so much for coming. You're Your welcome. people love you. Your questions are many on the social media platform. So we will arrange and put you live on the show so you come and answer all of the questions. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you. You're you are watching Revelations. My name is Mami Gray. Same time next week, we will come your way with another beautiful episode. Thank you so much for watching. God bless us all.